Hey Katie, Karen Birchall here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another jelly printing video DIY mark makers galore. So I found this sink liner and I thought, hmm, texture. So I had to give this a spin. So I grabbed out my two jelly plates. These are eight by 10 and both from Jelly Arts. And I'm putting this on here, pressing it down. I'm trying to remove the paint through here. Not sure that really mattered in the grand scheme of things. We have both of them. If this is big enough, you can buy one of these and share it with a friend and each of you have an eight by 10 to use. And oh my gosh, aren't these lovely things. I know you're gonna be rushing out to the dollar store. That's where I bought this to see if you can find a sink liner that works. Now I've really sped up this video and you're going to see different color combinations. You're also going to see me using both plates here and sometimes I am using the mark making tool pressing into the gel plate and sometimes I'm using it as a stamp and stamping off onto the other one. And you can get interesting marks and textures doing that. So here I'm using some shelf liner. You've seen me using the shelf liner before. Now here is a stamp that I got at a thrift store and I'm just stamping. It looks like a, a swatch of paint. And I think you can make one of these on your own with just fun foam, like I've made some of these other ones. And I absolutely love the marks, the organic marks that that stamp makes and I definitely will be making some of my own. So many of the gel prints that you're going to see and their pictures of the gel prints are down below or kind of a highlight of the ones from the various mark making tools because I know this video is sped up quite a bit. Here I'm using embroidery mesh as well as a fun foam stamp that I created myself. And you can cut those fun foams into anyone. Here's another fun foam stamp. And you can stamp the pattern on there. I absolutely, foam works so well on the gel plate. I also use those stamps right onto my art journal pages. So FYI. So there you got the mesh and you got the stamp and you're layering up these marks. <clears throat> Now what I'm creating here is either an instant background that I can use on an art journal page, iCAD, what have you, as well as papers that I'm going to use for collage with either focal points or ripped collage pieces, pieces making up the background. And my goal here is because I want to really increase my stash because I have lots of projects that are going to use this, is to use a multitude of colors and just have different color combinations. Plus our bubble wrap, the giant bubble wrap. But what I like here, and you just saw a smidgen of that, was you see the bubble wrap and then you see the mesh. Combining mark making tools really works well. And you get some interesting patterns and this is just going to be perfect for my purposes. This is another stamp that I got at a thrift store and it's just little waves and I think it will be very easy to cut wavy strips out of fun foam and make your own stamp and I highly suggest doing it because this is a really nice mark making tool. Kind of get that basket weave thing going on and it's made some interesting patterns and you'll see those down below in the description box. Here's another fun phone stamp that I created and here I'm stamping onto the gel plate but I'm stamping off onto a colored paper that already has some marks and patterns on it. So that's another way you can use the gel plate. That one you've got those crusty bits, the black coming through. Another fun foam stamp and I've got this one in a couple different sizes. Easy peasy to make. And I want it to get more yellow on there. Love that color combo. So sometimes you can just add another layer of color and that really takes it from wow, okay to wow. 
shelf liner, my favorite. So all these mark making tools are either from the dollar store, from the recycling bin, or from the thrift store, even if they happen to be real stamps. And sometimes I'm experimenting with the shapes and trying to figure out. So I got to get back to this sink liner. And oh, the color combinations and the possibilities of this. I am so thrilled with my $3 purchase. I believe it was at Dollarama. It is absolutely so well worth it. And I keep playing with it. I'm pressing with the brayer onto it. That gives a better, better, better adhesion. And I'm just playing with colors. So I hope you've got some ideas of fun foam stamps that you can create, that you can use in your art journal and on your gel plate. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this process. Again, not all my gel printing videos are sped up to this amount. If you want to watch one that's more at a more leisurely pace that shows a little bit more detail and there's a lot more explanation about what I'm doing, please check out my playlist, Jelly Printing, Make Them and Use Them, because there will be a lot more information there. This one is just a fun one that I'm just sharing a few new tools and combinations to give you some ideas. Give me a thumbs up. Put your favorite mark making tool down below to share with the lit share with the group i think my favorite of these prints is ones where you have two or three of the mark making tools showing up Every time I go and have a gel printing session, I tend to go to different colors and I use the tools in a different way and I get a very different result. And I never quite know where it's going to go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got friends that you think might like it, feel free to share the video with them. Leave me a comment below as I suggested. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you will be notified of upcoming videos. Please watch right to the end. I show a close-up of several of the samples of each kind of mark making tool, three to four of the prints that I was able to achieve.